Welcome back to the Penn State tailgate. Spectacular weather, 75 and sunny, not a cloud in the sky. Well, Mickey Schuler Jr., I did some of his games when it is East Pennsboro. We are delighted to bring in Mickey Schuler Sr., one of the all-time great players here at Penn State. And uh, Coach Paterno just said, if you dropped a ball, you'd have somebody throw to you 20, 30 minutes after practice. You had that kind of determination. How do you feel with your son making his first career start today, Mick? Well, I, I think it's been uh, a long road to get to this point. I mean, something that was a goal is to try to get an opportunity to play and an opportunity to contribute. And uh, he's finally got his shot, and I think he's going to have a good time out there and have some fun just being part of this Penn State experience. I'm not worried about you, Mick. I'm not worried about your son. I'm worried about your wife and your, and your daughters. They all went to Penn State. I know they must be excited. It's tough on moms to sit back and watch their kid get out there and play in his first, his first start. Well, I, I think my wife has a little bit more experience because we, we did go to college here together, and uh, uh, we went through 14 years in the NFL together, and uh, we coached together. She was the head track coach. I was an assistant. Uh, she knows a lot about football, so uh, I, I think she understands what's taking place. But, yeah, we're a little, little anxious, but we're not nervous. Well, when you look at this atmosphere, uh, how, ma how many did be how many people could Beaver Stadium hold when you played here? I'm not trying to age you too dramatically. But I, have, I have no idea, but there was a track around it and portable bleachers <laughs> in the end zone. <laughs> and if you couldn't run around it in 56 seconds, you couldn't practice. <laughs> yeah, that's just 105,000 people now. What's uh, what's your greatest me memory coming out of here? Like, give us a game type of memory. I, I really I really don't have any. Yeah. Uh, honest to God. Uh, uh, just the whole whole experience of being here and being part of the program, being part of things. I mean, we were on some losing teams, and I was think I was on one of the better teams uh, in, in uh, my senior year. But uh, uh, there were so many things that happened. But just the, just the experience of being with good people, doing good things, and uh, having fun. Here they come. Uh, this is something both of you guys, Kenny Jackson and Mickey Schuler. Can you take me, Kenny, inside there? What are you thinking as you come through here the right now? Im the most important thing is Coach Paterno has the front seat. The quarterback sits next to him. Every time you're on the bus, probably the most exciting time in your life because Coach Paterno sits in the same seat, the quarterback sits next to him, and that's the thing that I'll never forget. And just watching all the people, how excited they are, a new season, a new beginning, a new opportunity to be number one. Mickey, do you remember that coming in here to Beaver Stadium in this unbelievable? I don't atmosphere? think we did that. No. <laughs> I think we walked here. I remember Dennis Oncott said he used to take uh, final exams before games, and you see them uh, getting out. It's opening day as uh, you're watching the uh, 2007 Penn State Nittany Lions get out in front of. Them. There's Anthony Morelli right there, and the quarterback has a prominent role in the seating arrangement, right? Oh, you know, it does. Coach Paterno has a prominent role, too. He sits in the same spot. That's the thing that I remember more than anything, and it's important that quarterback, who's the leader of the team, is his time. Anthony's ready. You can really tell just uh, the confidence and the bounce that he has, and uh, the new fan festival area right there. Next week, Notre Dame comes in here. Today, it's Florida International. There's Coach Paterno. He'll be back on the sideline after missing the final four games last year uh, when he was run over by uh, Anthony Quarles and uh, broke a bone in his leg And uh, 42 years. It, it, can you talk to me, uh, Mickey, about what it, your son, you're one of 25 players who've had his son play for Joe Paterno as well. Can you put into perspective what he's meant for you and just, you know, here he well, is 42 I, I, years later? Yeah, I, I know that uh, when I was here with my parents, uh, it was almost 30 years ago till the day when I sat in Joe's living room where my parents were and, and had uh, some conversations with him and some other parents of, of recruits. And uh, now, you know, two years later, three years later, uh, my son's going to get an opportunity to actually be playing out there. It's something he's dreamed about, something I've, I've uh, had uh, uh, hopes and dreams for him myself. And it, it's neat. It's neat that he's getting that opportunity to get out there and play a little bit today and have some fun. And uh, it's what it's all about. I mean, his family's here. We're here. But we're here, uh, you know, to support him, support the team, and, and, and see what's best for this university. Well, what can you? He's probably more excited, right, to see your son play than any time you played, right? Can you put that into perspective uh, a little bit? It's different. You're it's low different. key, though, Mick. It's, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's different. Yeah, I, I've learned to control my emotions and try to keep them intact as best I can. Once in a while, they'll slip out, but uh, um, you know, you got you got to keep things in perspective. And I mean, it's just a game. Uh, it's an exciting game, and you're going to have enthusiasm, and he's going to uh, be excited. But uh, his demeanors are, are kind of what I've you know, taught him to, to be like and stuff and act like you've been there before and, and be proud and 
do the right things, make good decisions, and uh, uh, I'm just hoping he relaxes, relaxes and, and just plays the game and uh, doesn't think because I think thinking uh, is where most people get their selves into some situations where they're not uh, comfortable.